Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss about Fraunhofer lights. When a solar spectrum is observed closely, it is found that it contains large number of dark lines. These dark lines are referred as Fraunhofer lines. How these lines are formed? What is the reason behind it? Let's explore it in this video. As I told you earlier, the dark lines present in the solar spectrum are referred as Fraunhofer lines. What is the solar spectrum? What is in the solar spectrum? So here solar represents or solar means related to sun. Okay, and spectrum is nothing but orderly arrangement of spectral lines according to their wavelength or frequency. If we arrange spectral lines according to wavelength or frequency, then the structure that we get at the end now is referred as a spectrum. Now, how a solar spectrum is formed? If we pass a ray of light through a glass prism, now, this is a glass prism. When a ray of light is made to fall on it, it splits into its constituent colors. Splits, it disperses into its uh, constituents and uh, on a screen. Suppose there is a screen, on the screen we get uh, different colors. So, the seven different colors which are obtained on uh, the screen gives us. Solar spectrum. Here V stands for violet, I stands for indigo, B stands for blue, G stands for green, Y stands for yellow, O stands for orange, and R stands for red colored light. Now present in the solar spectrum. This one can easily obtain the solar spectrum. When one such solar spectrum is observed closely, it shows sudden dark lines. We call such dark lines are as a Fraunhofer lines. So how they are formed? To know, to know that we must know the structure of sun. Now sun, the core of the sun, which is the central portion of the sun, it is at very high temperature. Now this is the core of uh, the sun. We have very high uh, temperature, and uh, this core is uh, named as photosphere. Photosphere. Okay, it is uh, at a temperature of uh, fourteen million Kelvin. Okay, and it is surrounded by. Another layer. Oh. This layer is referred as the atmosphere of uh, the sun. Hmm. Okay. The, this layer, which is present around the core, is uh, referred as. Chromosphere. What is chromosphere? Chromosphere. It is at a very low temperature compared to that of a photosphere. It is at a six thousand Kelvin. You can see it is very low compared to 
instead of a photosphere. And uh, what does it consist of? Chromosphere consists of uh, different uh, elements. The, uh, in a gaseous form. Whatever element is present in the sun, its a gas is present in the chromosphere. So, the light which comes out of the photosphere has to pass through this chromosphere before it reaches us. So, whatever element is present in gaseous form in the chromosphere absorbs the light. As a result, dark lines are obtained on the solar spectrum. Now, this is due to the absorption of the light from the photosphere by those by the vapors of those elements present in the sun. Okay. So, now what is the the significance of Fraunhofer lines. By comparing the dark lines present in the solar spectrum with the, the absorption spectrum of a different substance, one can easily find out the presence of different elements or one can find out what kind of substance or what kind of element is present in the sun. So, this is the the importance of front of our lines. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put a question in the comment section? Thanks for watching.